All right, so what I'm gonna do here is this last problem. It's only three problems, but it's due Friday and you have a shortened week. Um, so it's uh, no joke, actually. Um, I'm gonna do number seven, but I'm gonna also give you some tips on number six because it's a little bit different looking. So let me start off with number seven. The trick here is to use log laws. And we're gonna have a card made for log laws natural log of a times b is natural log of a plus b natural log of a to the m is m log a natural log of a divided by b is natural log of a minus natural log of b now you have to be careful because um, these laws get messed up pretty easily sometimes i see students do stuff with natural log of a times natural log of b and it's not even on the list um, don't do anything with that these are the three log laws that you will use um, I, I probably will add one more example. It's a log base thing in class. So what I'm going to do here is first I'm going to take this 1 over x and I'm going to lift it up to a just to x of m. You'll do this all the time in calc class. So I have something in the basement and I just want it up in the numerator. And the reason for that is log laws will make this easy as you're going to see in a second. And also in this case, um, you know, power rule and things are easy too. So that's the reason you keep doing this. If you don't want to learn it now, you're going to be in pain uh, along the way. Um, so what, what law was I using? Well, um, I was using laws of exponents right there, but now I'm going to go to the second law in the log laws that say when I have an x to a power, um, the power can come out in front. I have a minus one raised up here, so that minus one can come to the front. Now you could certainly do this by chain rule, um, and in fact, I made you guys do this in ch by chain rule in class just to practice chain rule. I thought maybe you'll hate me once I show you the log laws because it takes the chain rule away. Um, and so now I've done what I've done is I've just pulled a constant out in front. And when I take the derivative, the derivative of natural log x is 1 over x, and I'm done. So with two easy steps, I have the derivative. Now, if I had to use the um, chain rule, I would have to identify the inner, multiply by the derivative of the inner, which requires a... Um, power rule, um, and then, you know, there's extra work to be done. So this is off the big five. Um, if you want to clean it up, it's minus one over x. Now, here on your problem, um, I've actually asked you in class, whenever you see this little two here, what it really means is that sine x quantity squared. And so you need to see this because then you can use the log law that to pull that two out in the front just like I did with the minus one. So you're gonna do that. Once you bring that two out in the front, it's just a constant and you don't have to really worry about it um, as you're taking the derivative of the other stuff. It's going to be a chain rule. Once that two comes out in the front, you're gonna have an inner, which is sine x, and then define your inner by taking your thumb, covering up the inner, replacing your thumb with an x, and yada, yada, yada. So this is where we go from here. Good luck on this one, and I'm willing to look at it if you get it in, to me in time.